In this video, Timmy's going to show you how to turn off notifications on a Chromebook. You can turn off notifications for specific apps or websites if there's a specific app that's just sending way too many notifications and you just want to turn off all notifications from that one app or if you want to turn off all notifications from all apps you can use the do not disturb setting to stop all notifications from all apps with the click of a button and then if you want you can turn them all back on just as easily by turning Do Not Disturb off, which is great if you just don't want to be disturbed for a while while you're focusing on one specific thing. So, on your Chromebook, you'll just need to click on the time down here, and you'll see this menu here. This menu might look something like this when you first click on it, but if it does, that's okay. Just click on the up arrow here, and it'll look like Timmy's menu. And now, you'll need to find somewhere here an icon that says notifications. So, it should look like this with the circle and line across it, and say notifications down here. And now, if you just want to turn on Do Not Disturb to turn off all notifications, you can just click on this icon here, and now it will be on Do Not Disturb. So this icon will appear down here, showing you that it's on Do Not Disturb, and that means no notifications will pop up on the screen while you're trying to focus on something else, so they won't disturb you. And down here, when you receive notifications, you would normally see a number of how many you've received, but while you're on Do Not Disturb, you won't see that number, you'll just see this little icon instead, so you really won't be disturbed by any notifications. If you click on this time again here to bring up this menu while you're on Do Not Disturb, you will still receive your notifications, and they will actually still appear up here, where they normally sit around after they've come in, but they'll never pop up on the screen or anything like that so you'll still be able to access them if you need to, but you won't see any notifications unless you actually go and look for them. So, that's all there is to that, and if you want to leave Do Not Disturb on forever, you can, that's fine, but if this was just temporary while you're working and focusing on something specific, when you're ready to turn off Do Not Disturb, all you need to do is come back into this menu here, and click on the icon. The icon will be blue now because it's currently on, but you can just click on that again, and now Do Not Disturb will be off, so it will go back to normal. So that's really cool, but if you want to completely turn off notifications for a specific app so that you'll never receive an Instagram notification or something like that, you can do that too. So if you come in here to this menu here, and find the notifications button again, so it's this icon with the word notifications under it. This time, you'll actually need to click on the word notifications, so don't click on the icon, click on notifications here, and now you'll see a list of all your apps with checkboxes next to them. So, to turn off notifications for a specific app, you'll just need to find the app in this menu, and then uncheck untick the checkbox. So Timmy will scroll down here, and here's Instagram, so maybe Timmy wants to turn off notifications for Instagram. So Timmy will just click on that box to uncheck it, and now all Instagram notifications are turned off. And because notifications for this app have been turned off completely, it won't affect this app when you turn Do Not Disturb on and off like Timmy showed you before, do Not Disturb will only affect apps that can send you notifications, and apps like this where you've completely turned off notifications will just never send you a notification no matter what. So you can keep turning Do Not Disturb on and off, and that will change the notifications for all apps that can send you notifications, and apps like Instagram just won't ever send you a notification. So that's all there is to it. So hopefully you found this video helpful, and if you did, please click on the thumbs up button down below, and Tim will see you in the next video.